Dan. Could you talk about the decision to lift the restrictions on the use of longer range attack on missiles for the Ukrainians and why was this decision taken when it was uh, after many months of saying that this was not going to happen and then also can you just give us an update as how many missiles have been used by the Ukrainians and roughly what, what they're targeting? So Dan, I don't have anything to announce or to confirm at this time. Um, if we have more to share publicly, we will do so. Um, that being said, just taking a step back to, you know, answer kind of broad strokes some of your questions, um, let's not forget where we are. And that is the fact that Russia chose to escalate this war um, by introducing DPRK forces into the battlefield and into the fight. Um, and so what we are doing is, as we have been from the very beginning is ensuring that Ukraine has what it needs. So you're going to see us continue to support Ukraine with different presidential drawdown packages um, that are going to support its short term and long term needs. Sorry, just yeah. on the North Korean troops, mm -hmm. roughly how many there are now on the ground around Kursk? And are there indications that North Korea is ready to actually send more troops? So in the Kursk region, what we approximate is is um, approximately or over 11,000 DPRK troops in the Kursk region. Um, you know, in terms of are more going to be sent, it's certainly a possibility. Um, but that's our initial assessment right now along Kursk. Carla. Hey, thanks to follow up.